So in this video, we're going to look at making just a super simple calculator just to get used to some web forms uh, and using uh, uh, Flask and Jinja a little bit more. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is come in here and make a repository. And I'll go ahead and initialize it. Now notice I'm back on my desktop. calculator has come down so let me go into that directory and now I need to create a virtual environment And then I need to activate the virtual environment. And I can see that it's active. I don't have Flask installed. Created the requirements.txt file. So let me go ahead and open things up in Atom now. It's easier to work over there, maybe. I'm going to create a new git ignore. Close it. and close up the old one. All right, so I'm going to use Flask. I'm going to use Jinja and the templates. So let me come in here. Um, actually, I'm going to do a lot of copying and pasting again. So I'm going to grab static and templates. I know those are the two that I need. Copy them. paste them in here. Okay, so I've went through and added in the things that we need to make uh, make our calculator start working. So let's just walk through them real quick. So first I'm using Jinja, so I have a static folder and a templates folder. Under the static folder, I have a style sheet under in the CSS subfolder. I don't have anything in images. And under the templates, I have an index and a base. And remember, base is the base. Uh, and then uh, the the different web pages will extend that base uh, and so add more detail to the base and then uh, let's see I think that's it so let's get into the individual details of this so in index.html it's going to extend to the base this is a web form and we'll talk about web forms a little bit so this is the, the type post it could also be get but most of the time when we submit we want it to be post so that we can encrypt it um, for easy formatting, I put mine in a table. Um, it's probably best to use CSS, but this is just kind of quick. It gives it nice formatting. I have input types, uh, and the first input type I've got here is text, and then I have to give it a specific name. So this becomes an object, and that object has to be uniquely identified. And again, I have another input type for the second number, and I have to uniquely identify it. 
with a name and I'm calling it num2. I have a different input type uh, that's of the type submit, which is, makes it a button, um, and a couple of different things. So form action. So when this is submitted, when we click this button, what do we want the form to do? We're going to call the route add. And what's the text that's going to display on there? It's going to be called add them. And this is some CSS. I have a button class. Next thing I have uh, down here is another uh, place where I can, uh, kind of like a variable, where I can take um, text or take uh, values uh, from app.py uh, from the processing and show them on the page. Uh, so this is a place where I can do that, uh, and I'm calling it display. And then just finishing up with some HTML. Here's another one of those variable uh, areas for the page title. Um, I'm getting in the CSS uh, and then just basically some, some HTML from there. And then in app.py, um, I'm rendering templates. Uh, the default route, uh, I'm calling it index. I've set display to be blank. So this display references this. Right now it's not going to show anything. And page title, I'm passing my calculator. So under base, page title, I'm passing my calculator. So this uh, should look like this. So I'll enter one number. I'll enter a second number. And when I click the button, it's going to do the add, uh, it's going to do the form action for that button. And if you remember, the form action for that button was forward slash add. So I need a route for forward slash add. So let's do that. And I have to create a function. I'm just going to do an add function. And in here then, I get to start doing the, the uh, Pythonic things. I get to start adding some lines of code in here. So the lines of code I'm going to add will be these. So this is a Python if statement. So if the request method is post, so that means they've clicked that button uh, in the form, and that form method has been set to post. So this is a post type. If it's post, then we're going to get the form uh, and store it in a reference variable form. Uh, we're going to, from the form, we're going to get the num1 which is this, so whatever they typed in that first box. And then num2 is whatever they typed in the second box, of course. And we're going to convert those to integers. We're assuming we're not doing decimals at this point. And we're going to store those in reference variables number one, number two. Then I'm going to create a new variable called calc, and I'm going to just simply add the two numbers together. And then I'm going to return the template. I'm going to return index again. And now where we had display, I'm going to show the values of adding numbers one and two together. And the page will remain my calculator. So that's if it's a method post. But if it comes in as a method get, then I'm just going to redirect them back to the, the, the uh, default route. So if I'm going to render template, uh, I'm also going to need a request because I'm gathering request information down here. And I'm also going to need a redirect to bring those in as well. Let's save everything. And after I've saved everything, I've modified app.py, so let me stop the server and restart the server. All right, so let's refresh it. And let's put in our first number. And let's put in our second number. That should give us 55. 
right? And so if I add them, the form action will be to add, wow, something went wrong. So this was my error right here. Uh, if I'm going to um, filter on these different request methods, uh, then I have to very specifically specify which methods I'm going to allow. Uh, if I only allow post uh, and someone goes there with the get request, they could get an error. And I'd prefer they not get an error. I prefer to accept both get and post requests. And then down here in the if then, if it's a post, I'll add them together. But if it's not, then I'll just redirect them back to the main page. So uh, this was my, that was my error right there. So now when I do that and I come in and I run the server, and I enter 10 and 12, and I add them, I'm getting back 22. And so this is the place uh, on the HTML page where display would be showing up. And when I'm calculating it in app.py, Uh, I'm putting the calculation in that display for the page. So now if I wanted to do this for other things like uh, subtraction, multiplication, division, I could potentially copy all of this, paste it down below, change the method name, change the uh, mathematical formula here, uh, and, and get it working that way. And that's going to be pretty inefficient. We should probably use classes to do this uh, so that we don't have to uh, have the variable names inside of all of our functions and stuff like that. Uh, and so this will work for now. It works fine, uh, but we can do it better. And so we'll take a look at doing it better uh, in a classes video.